Welcome folks. Uh, we just wanted to give an update this morning. Uh, we're over in the church fellowship hall. It's uh, a little before 6 a.m. We needed to get this out so that everybody would know uh, kind of what's going on. Uh, if you plan to leave uh, drop-offs uh, at the church, we need these by 4 p.m. Friday. We're gonna start loading up uh, Friday evening and get ready to go. And uh, our plan is to depart at 4 a.m. Saturday morning. Now the reason we're leaving so early is, is there's no power up there. We need to give the folks time enough to uh, come out and uh, get their stuff and be able to get back to where they're going before it gets dark. Uh, <clears throat> as far as needed supplies, uh, I did have a contact, and we'll bring this up first and foremost. It sounds like it might be an emergency, but uh, I have family up there, <clears throat> and uh, my cousin sent me a text message and asking if there was any way we could get oxygen tanks up. So if anybody has a way to get oxygen and to uh, transport it, they need oxygen tanks at this location. So uh, I'm gonna go over some of that. Some of you may be planning to go up to that uh, area, but to have nowhere to go. And uh, if I'm gonna give you this information and uh, let, you, uh, let you know about it. But right now the needed supplies are paper plates, manual can openers, of course water, toothbrushes, soap, plastic utensils, the uh, toothpaste and shampoo <clears throat> needs to be in the travel sizes. Uh, we need canned foods, first aid kits, packs of t-shirts, all sizes, even for kids. They need wooden matches, lighters, packs of socks, granola bars, jerky, crackers and soup, diapers, baby food, hand sanitizer, wet wipes, Clorox wipes, bleach, kerosene lamps and oil, peanuts and cashews in the individual packs, pillows, blankets, pop tarts, snack bars, and anything else that you can think of that you might can get in there that would be a nutritious uh, type thing. Uh, I thought about uh, the little individual Gatorade packs that you put into the bottled water. That might be a good thing uh, to, to give them to keep uh, from dehydrating. <clears throat> now the location this is going to is uh, uh, Flat Rock, North Carolina. The pastor up there, his name is Tim Clark, and he is going to be the hub uh, of this ordeal. Uh, the reason being, they actually have got power at the church. Uh, they got it about 2.30 a.m. Two, two days ago, and uh, this is enabling him to uh, take shipments uh, early morning, late evening. They have lights, they have power. They're able to cook hot meals for the people there and uh, take those out. So uh, anybody wanting to uh, drop off stuff and you have no idea where you need to take it, Brother Tim Clark at the Bethel Wesleyan Church is uh, supporting two relief centers from his church and uh, he can get the stuff back in there where the needs need to be. The county is opening up a shelter uh, not too far from him and they're gonna be able to house people uh, at that location. And then there's another relief shelter back up in uh, Canton. Uh, they have no power or anything up in there. <clears throat> and he's able to take his Suburban and load it down and carry supplies to the Canton uh, Wesleyan Church. They've converted the fellowship hall into a uh, shelter where people are gonna be staying that have lost everything. Uh, those thinking about going need to be prepared. There are uh, a few gas stations an exit or two below Tim. I'm not sure the distance, but there are a few there and that little swath of area where he's located 
has the power and these gas stations are being uh, nightly filled with fuel. However, people from South Carolina are driving up because there's no power in uh, Greenville County, uh, South Carolina, Cherokee County, uh, all these counties in Northern upstate part, uh, South Carolina have no power. They know that there's power and fuel available in North Carolina, so they're driving up and uh, filling up all they can, but it's a five hour wait to get fuel. They only uh, accept cash uh, because there's no uh, internet and no phone communication. So credit cards, uh, debit cards will not work. So if you're going up, you need to be prepared. You need to have extra fuel to be able to get in and get back out and get as far away from the mountain area as you can. So uh, our plan is uh, there's power in Shelby. We're going to fill up in Shelby, top off, and uh, we're going to have about 20 gallons of fuel per vehicle uh, to go back up in there. And that way we will have that additional 20 gallons to be able to get back down uh, to a location to get fuel back into Shelby. Shelby is a, roughly an hour uh, away from the mountains. Uh, where the uh, issues are. So if you're traveling up and you're going to go through Shelby, you have that option. Keep in mind, folks, there's no power. A lot of the cell towers are down because of no power. So your phone GPS will not work. So don't go off in the mountains thinking that uh, you can get back in there to a location on using a bunch of back roads and things because your phone is not going to work. So you're going to need to have one of those dash mounted Garmin or Tom Toms to be able to maneuver around and uh, that type of thing. Or best bet is to have a local with you. Carry cash. Like I said, there's no power. There's one ATM up there near those gas stations. It's owned by the State Employees Credit Union. Uh, you can get cash out of that, but it's a six hour wait to get cash and they are limiting the amount of money that you can get. <clears throat> the address for uh, the Bethel Wesleyan Church, if you have stuff you want to drop off but not do not know where to take it, is 909 Tracy Grove Road, Flat Rock, North Carolina. As you can see, we've got a lot of stuff here. This is the heavy stuff that we've got. And we've got this in the fellowship hall. This is the heavier stuff. The food and other things are in the church basement. The stuff that's gonna be lighter, uh, cans of food, stuff like that. But it was easier to unload our uh, the waters and Gatorades and uh, some of that stuff over here, there are a few bags of food that people have dropped off. But uh, these people, folks, are in a very bad, desperate situation. It's not going to be long. There's going to have to start having bacteria issues from all the dampness and everything. And uh, people that are going in to help uh, are just giving them the shirts off their back and the workers are coming back out. They don't even have any shirts or anything left because they're giving them to the people. They're in desperate need, folks. <clears throat> so we urge you to uh, give any way you can. I'm gonna leave a Facebook link on this video to the Midway Wesleyan Church. If you would like to give a cash donation, there's gonna be a QR code on there and you can give to that. Make sure you mark it for Mountain Relief. That way, that money will be known where it needs to go. Uh, we got about, uh, I can't remember, two or three uh, financial donations yesterday. And uh, some of the ladies at the church have already gone and uh, started getting blankets and stuff like that with that money. 100% of any money you give is going straight to the Mountain Relief Project. And uh, that's something that uh, Pastor Kenneth uh, wanted to get set up as quick as possible. And uh, we've had a lot of uh, community support individuals. We've got a lot of churches have give uh, uh, support. They've collected goods. They're starting to drop those off today and tomorrow and Friday. 
So uh, we expect to have the bus completely full. We've had individuals in the community offer their pickup trucks and covered trailers. And uh, don't be surprised if you're not getting a call tomorrow that we're gonna need you because uh, the, the uh, outpouring of goods has been phenomenal. And uh, we've had uh, other people to contact us and say, we, wanna, we want to uh, take stuff and go next week, but we don't know where to go. So the location, these people are on the back side of Asheville when it goes up. Just think about it, Asheville, right behind that is Canton. Uh, it's pretty much impassable all up through there. You gotta know how to get there or you'll be in trouble. Uh, I'm gonna check today, uh, Saturday when I go up on the power line clearance and stuff to get into the uh, Bethel uh, Wesleyan Church to make sure if you're bringing in a 18-wheeler uh, or something like that, you have no worries about their power lines uh, having clearance and getting in and out. So uh, I will uh, post a video as well from up there. And uh, when we get there and uh, introduce you to Pastor Tim Clark and so forth, but the address, keep in mind, if you need to drop off stuff, is 909 Tracy Grove Road, Flat Rock, North Carolina. Brother Tim Clark, I'm going to have his phone number uh, posted on the description, uh, as well as the Facebook donation page uh, for the Midway Wesleyan Church. We want to thank everybody that has given and supported, and uh, for those that uh, are still gathering up stuff, uh, if you have any questions, you can shoot me a message uh, here over YouTube and uh, I will direct you how to uh, contact me and uh, uh, so forth. But I appreciate uh, all the support. Uh, these folks up in the mountains, I've known a lot of them since I was a kid. We used to go to a youth camp together. So I know these folks. Over the years, our, our the Midway uh, Wesleyan uh, Mission Work Team has uh, done many jobs down in the Caribbean for hurricane uh, repair, relief, and uh, building. And these churches in Canton and Flat Rock uh, both have went with us. And uh, so we know the congregation there. And uh, uh, we've spent all the way back to 1990 doing uh, lots of Mission Work Team trips with these folks. And uh, so we, we know them, and uh, that's how we was able to contact and find out about these people. Uh, my uncle used to pastor the uh, Bethel Wesleyan Church as well as the Canton Church. So uh, we know these folks well, and we know uh, uh, from seeing the pictures and things on the internet of the devastation, I knew where these locations were, and I recognized it and saw how bad and how far the rivers got out and the destruction because I was familiar with the area. But uh, it was time, folks, to help those that have been uh, uh, helping build and do all these other things for these other countries in Jamaica and Peru and Suriname and St. Nevis and St. Kitts and St. Croix. Uh, we've been to all these places with these folks and building and, uh, churches and repairing them for hurricanes and now it is their turn, folks to uh, receive the help. So make sure that you uh, some way, shape or form, uh, get goods to the mountains and help these folks. I appreciate you this morning. We're gonna get back at it and uh, start getting some of this stuff organized. And uh, we're gonna try to get everything ready so that we know how to uh, correctly load the bus and the trailers and trucks so that uh, we're not overweight and uh, have a problem. I appreciate all the support. Y'all have a blessed day.